Hello everyone and welcome to the Excel challenge. In this video I would like to show you how to create links to other places within your spreadsheet and outside of your spreadsheet. So let's get started. For this exercise I have grouped the types of links in two categories, within your spreadsheet and outside of your spreadsheet. And later in the video I will apply the concept to shapes and images. To start I am going to clear all these links in my spreadsheet. Before we begin inserting links, I would like to spend a minute talking about reference cells. In case you are new to Excel or you simply did not know this concept, cells are the intersection of columns and rows. In Excel, columns are labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc., etc., and rows are labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc., etc. For example, if I place my cursor in this cell, I can see I am in column J and I am in row 10, therefore I am in cell J10. With that said, let's start inserting links. I am going to start with a link to a specific cell within the same tab. There are several ways to insert links in Excel, and here are three ways to do it. One way to do this is to right click on the cell and let the menu display. At the bottom of this menu, we will find the link button. If I click on it, the insert hyperlink window opens up. I am going to cancel here to show you another way to do this. Another way to do this is to go to the Insert tab and find the Link button. If I click on it, the Insert Hyperlink window opens up. I'm going to cancel here to show you my favorite way to do this, which is go to the cell you want the link at and hit the shortcut Control K and the Insert Hyperlink opens up. So quickly, these are the three options. Right click and see the link button at the bottom of the menu. Go to the insert tab and see the link menu on the ribbon or simply control K. Okay, now that we know how to insert hyperlinks, let's create an actual one. I'm gonna go to cell C4 and hit control K. When the insert hyperlink window opens up, I wanna select a place in this document. And in this window, Excel is asking me to type the cell reference. I am currently in cell C4 and I want to go to cell C100. When I click on OK, Excel has created a hyperlink. And you can tell because the font has changed to blue and the text is now underlined. If I click on the link, Excel takes me to cell C100. In cell C100, I'm going to insert a link with Control K and I'm going to ask Excel to take me back to cell C4. When I hit OK, Excel has created a link. If I click on it, it takes me back to cell C4. So now I can just toggle from C4 to C100. I am now going to create my next type of link, which is to a different tab in the same spreadsheet. So if I hit Control K, Excel opens up the window, and this time I'm going to ask Excel to go to tab number two. And when I hit OK, Excel has created a hyperlink. If I click on it, Excel takes me to tab two. In tab two, I'm going to hit Control K, and I'm going to ask Excel to take me to tab one, cell C6 where I was, and I can say OK. When I click on the link, I go to cell C6 on tab 1 and now I can toggle between tabs. I am now going to create my third type of link which is to a different tab within a specific cell. If I go to the cell and hit Control K, I'm going to ask Excel to take me to tab 2, cell C100. If I hit OK, Excel creates the link and if I hit the link, Excel takes me to tab 2, cell C100. In this cell, I'm going to ask Excel to create a link to tab 1, cell C8 where I was, and now I can toggle to different tabs, specific cells. One thing to mention is you can always remove a link by right clicking on it and removing the hyperlink. Control C because I don't want to remove it. And that takes care of my first category of links, which is within your spreadsheet. Let's now create links outside of this spreadsheet. I'm going to start with another spreadsheet. If I go to this cell and I hit Ctrl K, this time I'm going to create a link to another existing file. 
from this menu I'm going to go to another Excel file let's pick this one here Excel has created a link to another file when I hit the link Excel opens up that other file I'm going to close here let's try another file but different than an Excel file I'm gonna place my cursor here control K let's create a link to an image so when I click on the file Excel opens up the image close here let's create a link to another file yet for example a PowerPoint presentation when I click on the link Excel will take me to the PowerPoint file close PowerPoint and let's now create a link to a website when I hit control K I want to go to a web page what I'm going to hit here is an address so you can simply type it HTTPS or if you previously copied it you can just paste it with control V and okay when I click on the link Excel will take me to my browser where I, where I had just picked one of the previous challenges close my browser and this takes care of my second category of links which is outside of your spreadsheet let's now apply the concept to shapes and pictures I'm going to go to this cell and insert a shape let's go with a happy face when I insert a happy face over here when I go to the happy face and I right click on it I get the same type of menu if I select link the same type of window prompts up I'm going to say take me to cell K200 okay now if I click on the happy face it takes me to cell K200 I'm going to insert another shape over here it's gonna be a different happy face it's gonna be right here I'm going to say take me to cell K1 okay so now I can toggle between cells K1 and K200 I am now going to insert a different shape let's say an arrow and I'm going to insert a link to a different tab let's say tab 2 when I hit OK Excel has created a hyperlink when I click on it it takes me to tab 2 where I had previously created a link if I click on this link it takes me back to tab 1 click on the shape again click on the link again and finally let's insert a picture if I create if I insert a logo right click on it link I'm gonna say take me to a web page if I paste the web address that I have previously copied okay and if I click on the logo Excel is gonna take me to my browser and open up another previous video I created close the browser and that's it for today I hope you enjoyed the video and you find this concept helpful and I hope this is something you can use in your daily routine so you can get more with less effort if you have an Excel challenge that you need help with whether it is at work at home or at school please write it in the comments below I try to resolve common Excel challenges from our viewers and subscribers. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in our next video.